this is Becky with Miss B Group Travel. If this is your first time joining us, thank you and welcome. On this channel, we talk all things travel related. That is hotel reviews, flight tips, luggage tips, and on this video today, packing tips. So if this is your first time joining us, do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Today's video is going to be about how I pack using my Michael Kors tote bag for flights. This has been my go-to bag for many, many flights. I have got other alternatives, but I want to give you a quick review on this one and the benefits and what I have found, um, you know, useful for it. And I'll also show you how I've packed my stuff, how easy it is to take them in and take them out. So do stay tuned and enjoy the video. Okay, so the tote bag that's been a favorite of mine is this Michael Kors Jet Setter range. It is 45 centimeters wide, 28 centimeters long, and about 16 centimeters on the base. Inside, it's quite hollow, so you are free to organize your bag whichever way you want. Sadly, it's not reversible, but it's made from the PVC with leather trimming and leather handles. So PVC is very easy to clean, it's strong, it is durable, and it's very easy to clean for any spillage. Because I use this on flights, it's handy as well, because as you know, with air travel, you know, there is compression in the air, and sometimes you might have little accidents that happen in your bag. So this is perfect for that. So that's a big tick in my book. Now, for those who worry about using an open bag when you're traveling, you know, long distance or even short distance over the airport, this bag was $159 and I purchased it at the Las Vegas outlet mall on a Black Friday sale. It was $159 plus VAT and it came with the sticker bag, right? Sorry, I would say the zipper bag and also came with a wallet all in the same color. So I'm really, really, I was really pleased with, you know, with, 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 with the purchase. I felt I got a good bargain. Now, because we travel, and obviously for security and safety reasons, I love the zipper bag. Again, it's just also in PVC. So what I do, I would put in my passport in here and also my wallet. I zip this up, take my bag. As you can see, it's got the connection on here. I take the connector, I connect it here, and then I can put my zipper bag inside so when i'm at the airport or when i'm at the um, immigration or customs i don't have to fumble too much in the bag to look for where my passport is my boarding card is it's there and also it's just as a security measure as you're walking about your bag is loose but you've got this attached to you by the time somebody tr comes to try to take it off you know, that's a big stretch anyway so one of the, I'm going to show you the bag as I pack it, and then I'm going to show you at the end of the bag how it will look like for those who are security conscious. And I think everybody is security conscious in this day and age. Right, the first thing I'm going to pack in here, uh, which I like, whether you can pack this too as well, is my laptop, okay? So you can put it into a laptop bag, or I would just put it in the bag, depending on what I'm using it for on that day. Again, it's very easy, like I said, to put in the bag, because there's no compartments, so it just goes in there straight away, okay? So, after my laptop, I try and put, um, if you're a member of the Packing Cube family, I believe Packing Cubes are the best thing that have ever been done for travelers. So, if you should be seeing, this is, a uh, part of a seven set packing cube. And in here I've got, I always have a t-shirt, a pair of leggings, a dress, a little bit of toiletries, a short or long haul, just in case my luggage or the remainder of my luggage doesn't make its way there at the same time as I do. So I plonk that in. And again, I'm not even doing any particular order. Again, I've just plonked that in and it just keeps things compact. And then the next thing from part of my set of the packing cubes, and by the way, these packing cubes, if they haven't already run out, they are available on our website, www.missbgrouptravel.com.co.uk, or you can find them on our eBay shop. 
Right, so in this is also part of a seven pack uh, packing cubes, and in here I all also have like a toiletry bag. Now I'm not going to go through everything that's in the toiletry bag. I'll save that for another video. We'll do a proper video of what I put in. But I've just been lazy. I'm just using a bag that I got from you know one of my flights with British Airways, which has got your little toothpaste, uh, I you know eye mask, socks, and that sort of thing. So that that is in my uh, packing cube bag. Also in here, uh, I've got another portion where I put the other things. You can put your tech stuff, you can put your whatever gear in there. It is waterproof as well. I've, uh, at the moment, I've got my ladies' toiletries and yes, I've got my, you know, travel plugs and all things of that nature. So that also goes into this one big bag. And last but not least, of course, not forgetting with the way uh, the world is at the moment, I've got some travel wipes to wipe down the seat. I also do take um, a plastic bag to put wet things or just any emergency if I have to remove things from my bag. Um, last but not least, I would definitely say, for as a health precaution, I always have which are, um, I always have my travel socks. Right, so these are compression socks and they're very, very useful for short or long term travel they help you with the blood circulation and keep your blood circulating properly because after sitting down for a while you can be prone to blood clots and things of that nature now um i don't i know some people think for short haul flights they're not necessary and long haul i keep them in my bag because i was once on a short haul flight which was two and a half three hours but the flight was delayed on the tarmac. We were sat on the tarmac for about one and a half to nearly two hours, just shy of two hours. And then we took off. And um, additionally, when we landed, there were some issues. So a three and a half or two and a half hour flight ended up being five to six hours. So always pop a pair of, you know, travel compression socks in your bag. Okay, so all of these now put back in there. I put this in there and that's my sort of uh, toiletries, gadgets and uh, things of that nature. And I pop it in my Michael Kors bag. Again, you can put it in straight or you can put it in sideways. It really doesn't matter. Okay, the other thing I put in my bag is my water bottle. And because I can stand it, remember I said to you the edges of this, the bag has got certain edges on here that I can open. So I normally try to take this and it's very easy to slip my water bottle, okay? This way I can put my water bottle holding with that little, with that little cap and put it sideways and there we go. So the water bottle is also in there. Don't worry, at the end of the video, I'll show you everything and how it looks like. But yes, but so far, we've still got a few more things to put in the bag, okay? My makeup bag, it is black, obviously, just to keep things clean and, uh, you know, uh, and compact, that goes in there. I won't open it now, but it's got, you know, brushes, lip glosses, you know, you know us women and how we travel. So I plonk that in there as well. And then I always carry with me a, a, a diary. Now, the diary is just in, I also write down if the hotel, the flight, any important details just in case my gadgets uh, go missing or my gadgets uh, let me down, don't work, don't open, whatever the case may be. I like to carry just that little bit of information in here. Um, just a little tip, especially during COVID times, a lot of us, if you're vaccinated, you will have a vaccination certificate. Why don't you just get yourself an envelope, uh, sorry, a clear white uh, paper, paper uh, form slip. I carry mine in my bag. It's foldable, but it's not going to ruin the paper. I also put it in my my purse because some countries do will not are not able to access the online QPR code. Uh, case in point, we recently came back from Marrakesh. They needed to see the original copy, uh, uh, the original aura copy that they actually kept at the airport. So again, my diary goes in there. You can see how handy this bag is, right? Um, okay, and last, well, no, it's not last. Okay, second from last, uh, popping some sunglasses. Now, what these sunglasses and the cases and the other variety of sunglasses are available on our website. So these are popped in here. Um, the one thing I love about these cases is when you take this out, this case is collapsible, okay? And by that, I mean you can fold it up, right? Fold it up. And once it's folded up, it looks like the size of a mobile phone. 
Isn't this fantastic? Okay, so again, it's quite durable. If I'm wearing my sunnies, it's okay. If I'm not wearing my sunnies, then I pop it in there or my glasses, I pop it in there and I close it and I pop it into my bag. Right, so for those who worry about the bag being open, somebody accessing your bag and things of that nature, I also take a uh, my scarf. Again, if I'm in the plane and I'm cold or not, whatever the case may be, I take my scarf and what the scarf does is I then cover my bag and then stuff this in, okay? So that kind of, for me, that's my own little, you know, protection factor. Well, I wouldn't say protection factor, but for me, this works well because once I've tucked that in, not only have I got something to cover myself with, I've also got something that covers my bag, okay? So once that's done, everything's in there, everything is in the bag. As you can see, the bag is fully compact, nothing too hard. I can literally, you know, carry it. Okay, with the laptop, it is a bit hefty and a bit heavy, but this is really perfect for all those trips. And again, with or without the laptop, it is, it's perfect. Um, one thing I'll say is if you haven't watched my video, I did another video of how I have moved from using my tote or when I use my tote in conjunction with a new crossbody bag that I've recently acquired as well from Michael Kors. Do check the link in the video and watch that. Very, very handy because I can still use both of them. And if it is one of those airlines that's low cost and say, oh, it's one bag, my small crossbody bag, I would just do the same. I just put it on top here and then I cover with a scarf and I'm good to go. So that's the benefit of having an open bag without a zip. You can add things to it. You can move and again, if you're at the airport, you wanted a magazine and you put that in, it's easy to put and take off. But if you compartmentalize it and put in your packing cubes and things of that nature, it does not become so difficult to manage. So tell me what you think and tell me what you would put in your tote. If you've got any questions, please put them in the link below. I'll try and answer as many as you can. And I'd love to hear what you put in your travel tote. Until the next video, please do say happy.